uh, just before we uh, come on, will someone lead us in prayer? Oh, 
Attention, attention.
he will give us mercy. He brought mercy with him. Out of the grave. But uh, oh, we know this. <laughs> we know what we going to do. And until the Lord say that, I put my spirit upon him. To test him, signify, and complete action. Which shows that he will be born in his master. Indeed, he will be born in the prophecy. He will reveal, stole to the prophet. The Lord has already quit the son. But he is dead to the unfilling of the Holy Spirit. The prophecy is torn to the strong. Of Christ, we lead in Christ always. It says, evil for in the beginning in condemnation. Here we get a glimpse of the concept of Trinity. Holy, 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 Father and Son, and the Holy Spirit. The victory, amen, all has always been. Yeah. He just gets some of it. He can't, we can control all of them. And all of those that, those three can control everything. Whoever is still from eternity, or simply a sign, wishes to bring judgment to the dead house. The word Saturday and judgment is the Hebrew word now. Mm-hmm. It can also mean justice. Bring justice to we still we still need some of that today in our society. Justice. Amen. There are those that have power with money or things, they can get by the love of anything. In a co person, that how I doing anything. That's the self consequence of being put in the position that he did in something. Amen. So we need Jesus on our side. Jesus is all these things. Oh, I'm going to tell them. Amen. The Hebrew word, which has a variety of meaning, including to call, to go, uh, to come out, to lead out, and to talk, and to own. The idea is that more than that of an announcement of Buckingham judgment will of the establishment and justice of the law. Amen. I'm a law in three years a week. Amen. But it does, does some good things for us. Question two of stupidity. If you're not crying, not live up, not call him on to be heard. This is my law of being cut. Keep a little bit good. Amen. Yeah. Okay, so I say he does not fall. Thank you for that. Now, this is clear. Here we have set judgment in the earth and the house of the way. Where are you going to go? This is the Lord of the Lord. He is in control of everything. And he sent this big word to us that we might realize that we can live for God in Christ and do the right thing for our Christ. But all this word is based on words given in Hebrew and Venezuela. So the spirit way, if he will not, he will not fail. He will not fail. Amen. Amen. And you're going to go and say, and, and mean it, you go, and you call it the damn, blame the smoking back from the previous word, how will he take this cover? Amen. Amen. Also, mean it to be good, to be good, a uh, rule, we call it the rule of the rule. The previous word of current that the children will not fail, fail of each his code. In fact, that the ministry of the children will not be in. He 
Getting ready, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, this elder lane. Oh, you ready? Okay, all right. Technology, okay, praise the Lord. Uh, the title. 
majority of our lesson today is what God's just servant. So my question is, who is God's just servant? We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. God's just servant? We are. We are God's just servant. God's just servant. This is actually in reference to the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember we read in our introduction that it is only Jesus Christ who can provide God's people with the safety, protection, just the desperate they need. So Jesus is God's just servant. God's righteous judgment has not fully been implemented in the earth until the second coming. The kingdom of God is ever expanding as God's people are in the world ministering to others and bringing them into a right relationship with the Father. As long as we are ministering to one another, to other people, amen, God's ministry is expanding and we are the ones with the message ministering to the ones who have yet to meet the Lord. Mm-hmm. True justice has its foundation in the knowledge of the true God. Mm-hmm. So we have a mission to minister to others telling everyone about Christ. Amen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Christ too we read that he shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Mm-hmm. The Lord Jesus Christ, as a teacher, he will speak with quietness and calmness. Oh, yes. He is not imposing on anyone. He is not forcing anyone. And as a prophet, he will not proclaim his message with a loud voice or with sensationalism. Neither will he present his message as an imprisonment. He will not strive, nor will he push his teaching down the truth of the people. Why won't he do that? The reason is because he does not need to, because the Holy Spirit is the one who will convince them. So the message of the cross that we carry, we don't have to force anyone. All we have to do is to be faithful and faithfully deliver the message that the Lord has taught us to deliver. Mm-hmm. And the Lord will do the rest of the work by bringing people to his saving knowledge. Christ does not force anyone. He does not force anyone. He does not impose on anyone. In fact, if we read in Matthew 12, Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Okay, in that uh, Jesus charged to his disciples that they should not make him known. Amen? Mm-hmm. So, he is not forcing anyone. He is not imposing on anyone. Amen? As a teacher, again, he will speak with quietness and calmness. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 Beautiful lesson. Well, I just want to say that when I when I when I when I think of a servant, he made uh uh other Van Bueller made it so clear that, that Jesus is a servant that that when I think of a servant, we have emulate Jesus. And when I like if I go to a restaurant and which we can't do now, and I say I'm gonna leave a tip because that was good service. I mean, I just order a tea. Just because they refill the tea, and if they keep my cup full, I'm like, wow, that was good service. So I think we we have to be good servants, not considering what we're going to get out of it, but we just have to be like Jesus Christ, knowing that God justifies us. And 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 uh, and, and 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 like uh, the Sunday school teacher told us, Isaiah the prophet was a good, great man. Yet at the end of his life. He was sawed in half. And so we can't we can't say, Oh my God, I'm gonna be a good servant so that when I when this happened, 
I'm gonna be now. We our reward. We we have to look for our reward from God, only from God, because He's the one that justifies us. We can't say, "Oh man, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. They're gonna. Ooh, they're gonna rain the blessings down on me if I do this, that, or the other." No, we just have to do it as a servant, and and God gonna give. He's gonna justify us. Uh, based upon how well we serve, so so we 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 have to uh, make sure that we give our uh, very uh, best service and stay prayed up, not just for ourselves but for others around us. And in the time like this, when we're at home, don't think it's just a vacation. Don't say I'm bored at home. You should be reading your Bible. You should be studying. And even now, while we're having Sunday school, somebody's washing their clothes or washing dishes or vacuuming the floor. They're not even paying attention. They just, they just, you know, they still giving lip service as if this doesn't really count. They can't see me, so I'm gonna do whatever I want to do. And then, see, you're gonna give, you're gonna be rewarded for your service. So believe me, uh, this is not the time to do anything beside serve God at this moment. So uh, I yield it back to the assistant pastor. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> All sinners are blind because of sin, both Jews and Gentiles. Therefore, the task of the Messiah, called the light, is to open their eyes and deliver them from the darkness of sin. Those without the knowledge of God are in bondage to sin and darkness. They cannot liberate themselves. Therefore, they need a deliverer not as a warrior, but as one who comes as God's righteousness to impart God's love and righteousness to them. This message is the good news that Christians are to share with family, friends, and co-workers. Jesus Christ opens the eyes of our hearts. Jesus sets the captives free from the burden of guilt and shame. Salvation accomplishes what nothing else can accomplish. Total and completely and complete liberty. God be the glory. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, this is uh, Pastor Brown. I would just like for us to view the Bible application. Thank you everyone for your input. Thank God for, for uh, Dickie Smith. Amen. Teaching a wonderful and a spiritual lesson on today. God just, God's just servant. And thank you Elder Lane for what you had input on a servant. And also we cannot be a servant on our own. But we have to be called by God on the mission uh, to be yeah. servant. And in that servant, servanthood, we ought to be just. We ought to be kind. We ought to be loving. We ought to be uh, about God's business. And yeah. being a servant, meaning that you are not your own. <laughs> you are not your own. When Jesus was at the wedding, and and uh, it was said that uh, the servant, it was service there. They was only there for one thing, to serve. Not to uh, be talking to others, not to be playing around, not to be acting up, but they was there to serve. And when they uh, served, uh, served the wine. And that was their only job. What I'm saying today is, our only job is to serve. We don't, uh, we all just does not serve the same way, but there is a way that God has for you and I to serve and to help each other. Amen. Amen. And we, a wonderful lesson and, uh, praise the Lord. And, uh, we're going to ask, uh, Sister Tracy if she would, uh, close, uh, close us out. Thank you, Deacon Smith, for your word. Amen. Amen. And then I'll uh, a short message. Amen. On today. In the hands of Sister Tracy Williams. We thank Sister Tracy Williams. Okay. I was looking at his prayer. And I love me enough to be hard, but I'm going to close out today. 
with his blood. We praise you, Father, for sending Jesus, for the Lord of all. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for reigning in our hearts and giving us hope for the future. Thank you for delivering us from the power of sin yes. We're so grateful for peace in our hearts and minds. We pray for peace among the nations. Mm-hmm. We pray for the peace of Israel. May they recognize you as the Messiah who has come to earth to deliver us from sin. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Reminding us of God's word, when times are difficult, strengthen us, Lord, in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, shortly, just briefly, I want to talk from, speak from St. Luke 10 and 30. Which is dealing with distraction, uh, to be distracted. And it's read. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she's, uh, and she had a sister named Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered with many distractions about much serving, and came to him, came to Jesus, and said, Lord, do thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Be it her. Therefore, that she helped me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful. Mary had chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. And I just, just for a few minutes, I want to talk about distraction. We are in a time, and I know that we all realize and know that there are deaths everywhere, all around us. <laughs> and you can't say that uh, it doesn't affect you, but it does affect you. <laughs> Amen. Because you are concerned. You are concerned about your loved one, about your friends, about the one that you know, the one that you don't know. And you hear it Tuesday at night, 24 hours of the day. You wake up in the morning and it's before you. The evening is before you. At night is before all of us. And it's, and it's, uh, uh, uh cause us to be concerned. Mm-hmm. Here in the scripture, there were two sisters, Mary and Martha. Amen. They welcome. Jesus into the house. The scripture said that they welcome Jesus into their house. And you know, it, it is a good thing to have Jesus on the inside. Amen. 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 It is good to have Jesus on the inside. But many times when we have Jesus on the inside, the enemy will come and try to distract you. And what distraction means that having one uh, uh, attention drawn away, of uh, their thoughts drawn away. Amen. Unable to, unable to concentrate, or uh, given attention to. And, and at this time of the season, amen, we must remember that God is still in control. He doesn't want us to be distracted about what is going around us. All we can do is to pray and ask God for help. 
and these two sisters, and the Bible said in the 39th verse, and she had a sister called Mary. We all are sisters and brothers in the Lord, and which, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. No matter what is going on, we must hear the word of the Lord. Amen. And the word of the Lord will come, uh, come from his servant. Will come from his just servant. Will come from his servant that love him. They are not out to get uh, what they want now. Amen. But God's just servant. And the scripture said, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. It's a beautiful thing in the word of the Lord. Amen. And then the next scripture, the body this verse said, but Martha was common, which means that she was distracted. She was distracted. Let us know that there are two types of people. One they're going to hear God's word and one they are going to be distracted. Amen. Amen. And, and we know that uh, death is a part of us, but yet we still don't have to be distracted by that. Yes, we're concerned. Yes, we want them to live. Yes, we want a man to have peace upon this earth. Amen. But the enemy is uh, a time to get us distracted. To get us uh, uh, away from the word of God. But we must, but we must, we must, and we must, and we must, uh, to continue to know that God is still in control. He still can, he can let live and he can let die. And no one can do anything about it. That's right. But if he was saying on the day, uh, this morning, Amen. Let us be sure that and it call our name that we will be ready. Only two ways to go. Heaven or hell. And uh, and the enemy want our life to be distracted about the things that is going on. Saying that we are not concerned. Amen. But what it is and do not uh turn God's words down and to be distracted of what is wrong in our life and in this country today. We also sit to Jesus and heard his word. Amen. And this is what we was doing this morning. Amen. The power of the Lord, the word of the Lord. You need to hear the word of God. I need to hear the word of God. We all need to hear the word of God. The word of God is your life. The word of God is your strength. The word of God help us. The word of God help us. Amen. Amen. Uh, the word of God. Can you say the word of God? Word of God. The word of God. Amen. And then the scripture said, uh, uh, but Martha was humble that you were distracted about my servant. And came to him and said, Lord, do I not tell that my sister had left me to serve long? Now, as we look at this, and then the next verse, and Jesus said unto her, Martha, Martha. Now, uh, Jesus wasn't saying that she wasn't doing a good work. Martha wasn't doing a good work. Amen. But Martha was concerned about a proper servant. But Mary was concerned about, uh, uh, about the proper of God's word. Some of the things that we do, it doesn't mean that we are not doing it right. Amen. 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 But it let us know we are to choose the best part. And the best part is to set at Jesus' feet. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, and Jesus, Jesus said unto her, Father, Father, thou art careful 
and troubled about many things. And let me tell you one thing. God knows everything in our heart. Do we know? Amen. Praise the Lord. The distraction that comes. The distraction that keeps us from doing uh, the best part. And that is His Word. Amen. Amen. May God have put into us His Word. We can read His Word. We can meditate on His Word. We can love His Word. Amen. And Jesus said to us, uh, I'm out of trouble and trouble. And we are living in trouble time. Amen. We are living in trouble time. But God still has everything in control. He haven't lost it. He don't sleep like men. Amen. But, amen. But one thing is this. This is what the Lord is saying. But one thing is this. And Mary had chosen that good part. That good part. Mary had chosen. And we are people. We have the freedom to choose or not to choose. But choose the good part. We shall not, we shall not be taken away from her. God's word will not be taken away from us. And I just want to from the word of God to be, uh, be not to be distracted about what is going on. There is hope. Can you say everything you said? There is hope. There is hope. There is hope in the Lord. He gives all things. He gives all things. He gives all things. Yes, we are. Yes, we are concerned about those as people for the Lord for the great reward. But yet, Amen. Stay with the word of God. Stay with this word because his word will give us life in this life and the end of life to come. We all know that this is not our home, but we are pilgrims going, uh, going through. And the people were saying that uh, I did, uh, uh, I did was, uh, saw, he was saw in hand. Do you know that he was doing the will of God for yet? Amen. He was sold in hell. Amen. 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 And that is saying something. That is saying something. Amen. We don't know how we are going to leave from here. Yet we must continue to do the word of God. We must continue to live like God said live. Amen. Amen. There is a better home than this home. Amen. And I believe that uh, the pain will take it away. And the first track of the song uh, began to song uh, I did in hell. Amen. 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 God have a way uh, to deliver his people. Amen. And, and I just want to admonish all of us. Amen. Not to be distracted with what is going on, but believe and to know that God is still God. No matter what is going on yes, in the world today, amen, God is still God. He's still God. And, and he still has his righteousness. He still has his righteousness. And in the Lord. Amen. Thank you, everyone. And we pray and hope that you will uh, continue to believe the Lord. Amen. Amen. And God will bring us out of this. And He will bring us out of this. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Bring us out. We'll talk about it. And after this, I know that, amen, we will be in a better place with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, uh, amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dickie Smith. Amen. For a wonderful summer school. For the land that ever uh, Amen. We thank God for everyone that participated uh, participated uh, on the Sunday school class and hearing the word of God. Not to be distracted. Amen. Because the enemy will not be glad on. Amen. Not to be distracted. All right. Uh, Amen. Does anyone else have anything to say before we dismiss? I'd like to say happy to Christmas Bumbler. I'd like to say Happy Palm Sunday to each and every one of you, and God bless you. And thanks for the highest.
Sister Lane here. Sister Lane is there? Yes, yeah, she's watching. Okay. All right. Um, I have Minister Daniel. I have um, Sister Slater. Sister, yes. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. My Sister Slater. I have um, Cecilia. Cecilia and Brother Brian. Yes, we're here. Sister uh, Fairnot. And I think there was a thing that came in. It is questionable. So I'm not sure. Is there anything that needs to be counted that I have not recognized? Miller. Okay, so I'll just. Uh, Again, I have two, four, you missed one, and Okay, that's my last one. All right, two, four, eight, ten, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. On this line, I will give the time. Give a count of those that I have down again. I have Pastor Brown and Mother Brown. I have Deacon Smith and Tracy, Deacon Leacock and Mother Leacock, Sister Brown, Elder Lane and Lady Lane, Minister Daniel, Sister Slater, Sister Johnson, Sister Fearnock, Sister um, Toes, and Brian. Uh, Brother Brian, Minister Howard, Sis Miller, Sister Sonia, and then the Fondalists, the two of us. So I'm starting with Evangelist Wilson. Wilson. Anyone else? Pastor Green. Green. Pastor Green. Pastor Green, is it? Or Ashley Green? Ashley Green. Okay, that's one. Okay, so now I have two, four. Does someone say something? Um, uh, Sister, uh, uh, Lady Fambula, while you're getting that together, I just want to let you know that I, I get a PDF uh, printout on each call, and so I got your email, and I'm going to start emailing those to you, but still get your account because it's probably, like some people have two, maybe have two people on the phone, but I'll send you what I have, and it'll be a printout of all the people that are here, so you'll have how many actual calls are here. Uh, also, please... Uh, let us not forget to make sure that we get our tithing offering in. Um, 
you if you if you forgot in the PO box, it's uh, I, I, I attach it to the text so that you can go to the text. Um, I, I I don't have uh, contact with uh, Coach, so um, I'll try to call him this week to make sure that he's getting all of the uh, the different uh, offerings so that uh, um, we know that in case you sit in there and it's not getting there, you'll know that. So we'll try to get a report on that as well. Uh, so. Uh, we'll just start, but please send in your time and offering as we continue to go forward. Okay, that was great information, um, El Marie. I got the camera 22, so if you're doing a printout, there's no need for me to do this. No, no, please do it because, like I said, like, uh, like, like, Sister Lane, would you say hello to everybody? Oh, she's here with me, so there's no way to know that. If, I don't know if that's what you're doing, telephone number, but we'll talk about it. it well, I'll call you, okay? I, I'll call you. Okay. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. All right, Mother Howard. Yeah. I'm here. Okay, what you need us to do now? Amen. Oh, my God, we thank you for how you made us in this morning. We thank you for watching over God all night long and keeping us safe, God. And we thank you for this day that you're waking us in that wasn't promised to us. We thank you, Lord God, for all of your goodness, your mercy, your kindness, and we thank you for your grace. God, we thank you for saving us, sanctifying us, filling us with the Holy Ghost, and giving us a mind to continue to live for you. God, we ask you to help us to stay calm and not be fearful, because you did not give us the spirit of fear. You let us know, God, that you are God, and you are God of the whole creation. And we thank you this morning. And God, we ask you to bless you to the one that called in this morning was in the Sunday school, which was great. And we ask you, God, to bless and keep us in your holy will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. Bless you. We love you all. Amen. Love you all. Okay. Bless everyone. All right. All right.